Oh my dear viewers, have a look. <laughs> Real sturgeon on the sturgeon farm. New place in my life. <laughs> I've never visited sturgeon farms before and have a look it's a picturesque place ah we have the excursion this is toilet and this is sturgeon oh. Sturgeon life. <laughs> the depth of uh, the swimming pool is only uh, one meter. My dear viewers, hello from ancient city Astrakhan. Yes, now I'm traveling in the south of Russia, southern part of Russia and have a look, Volga River <laughs> and a lot, of, a lot of fishermen and a lot of merchants houses wonderful city and let's explore it together with me there are 41 swimming pools here for growing sturgeon and in every swimming pool there is uh, a sturgeon of uh, special age. Huh? The name of this uh, river is Buzan. And this river is so rich. Not only uh, it's uh, good, not only for growing sturgeons, but uh, there are a great deal of different fish as well. Let's see. It's paradise for all fishermen. <laughs> and my friend Olga decided to, to go fishing <laughs> to catch uh, wild fish from Buzan River. Это караси и вот это вот побольше караси, а это окунь. Yeah, special. The catch of the day. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm not a fisherman at all. I don't know how to do it. Oh. Ah, no, no, no. <laughs> My weekend. I spend admiring wild nature of Astrakhan region. My dear viewers, if you are fond of fishing, so this is the best place, one of the best places in Russia uh, to come here and for fishing because there are a great deal, great deal of different kinds of fish and will We'll see some fish uh, right now, I hope so. And uh, the weather is very warm here, even in autumn time. It's October and you see, we feel good here. <laughs> Every minute, one fish per one minute. <laughs> What's the name of the fish? Как называется рыбка? Карасик. 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 It's a kind of carp. Он что-то зам. Опа! Вот он. Ой. Вот он. My dear viewers, write down in comments. Do you like cats? I am a great cat lover. I have two cats at home and I try to film all cats I meet all around the world. Very, very picturesque and cozy place and so peaceful. 
Guys, the most sacred and the most <laughs> secret place here is Smokehouse. Let's see. Oh my God. Can you see that? The sturgeon is uh, getting ready for for being smoked. It's hot smoking. And a special stove. The sturgeon is salty already a little bit. Uh, it has been salted for 14 hours. And after one hour, we are going to burn a fire here. I will try all my best to film all this process. And do you know what's this? Um, it will be a very special traditional Russian uha ah, from sturgeon. Sturgeon uha. Uha means fish soup, Russian fish soup. To visit a uh, sturgeon uh, manufacturer, which is a place for production, you have to wear a special uniform. Uh, I'm looking like a farmer. I hope so. And what about prices here? For example, this package of uh, um, smoked sturgeon, 250 grams, costs um, um, almost 2,000 rubles. Is it good price? What do you think, my dear viewers? And uh, it's um, sturgeon ham, creatius, and uh, um, different uh, canned uh, uh, sturgeon. So this uh, can uh, costs eight eight hundred rubles, and this one four hundred rubles. It's like a paste, and of course, of course, you can buy. The whole fish, this is uh, stillet and this is sturgeon. Sturgeon is more fat. What a wonderful, picturesque place for lunch we have today. Have a look. <laughs> oh my God, what I see. Have a look. This is all uh, fresh uh, smoked sturgeon. Uh, this is how sturgeon Uha looks like mm, very hot. Uh, this is sturgeon kivia for our digger station. After I will be still Let's compare two kinds of uh, black gold. Yeah, this one, the left one is um, sturgeon and right is stewed. Mm. <laughs> This is a special dish for caviar and you can see ice um, just uh, inside. I think you don't need the translation. Everything is uh, clear. Yeah. Butter, bread. <laughs> Have a look at this uh, grains. Just one grain to another grain. Mm -hmm. Have you ever tried uh, black caviar, my dear friends? Mm -hmm. Write down in comments. Mm -hmm. yeah. First one. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll, uh, You see, we have a samovar traditionally. <laughs> The price for one can, 50 grams of uh, pure uh, black caviar, is approximately $25 for, for today's rate of exchange. Is it good price? Mm. 
delicacy is delicacy. Black caviar is something very, very special. Of course, its price is very high, but one day you can eat one one snack with great pleasure. Cheers. What are they talking about? <laughs> Can somebody understand the language of ducks? Fantastic process of smoking. All the chips are inside. And you can open it just yeah. We cannot open it, but do you remember the fish? The sturgeon is inside, you may be sure. And the smell of all the chips and fish oh. together is wonderful. Oh. And at the end, they, they will add um, apple tree logs and um, cherry tree logs just for, for better oh. taste. <sighs> My dear viewers, fish and caviar, black caviar are two visit cards of Astrakhan. Do you remember my video from Kuril Island? Uh, here is the link. So Russians like to eat red caviar with spoons and black caviar with spoons as well. It's a tradition. Another black caviar store. A lot of cans, different prices. One is more attractive than another. Uh, of course, it's a delicacy, as I told you before. Mm, but um, if you if you don't want to buy caviar, you can try some fish, catfish, and uh, Caspian herring. And as for me, I love sticks. For presents to my friends. You know that my friends in Moscow are always hungry and they're waiting for presents. So, um, dried catfish, dried wobbler, and uh, other fish for presents. There are 360 sunny days in Astrakhan per year. You know, it's the most sunny city in the world <laughs> oh, just have a look it um it was a great port trade port for several centuries mm. astrakhan was a very wealthy city and you see central bank of russia of course in astrakhan region is still here uh, since uh, the beginning of 20th century and I see that all the buildings are ancient and extremely beautiful really oh my god really such beautiful buildings with wonderful ancient balconies oh my god it was and it is military hospital and the building itself is amazing, really. And um, in some parts, Astrakhan uh, looks like St. Petersburg. What do you think, my dear viewers? Do you see something similar to our northern capital, St. Petersburg? Can you hear that? Can you hear that sound in Astrakhan? This is not a tech, it's like a study. And I'm not far from Kremlin. I'm near the Kremlin walls, ancient fortress. 
Oh, my dear viewers, Kremlin, Astrakhan Kremlin is worth seeing. It's true. It's like a garden with a lot of uh, Russian Orthodox churches after restoring works and everything looks cozy and and sunny and just impressive. This is all year round blooming garden. It's so nice, really. And I see already a Russian Orthodox Church. My dear friends, I want to show you beautiful Kremlin. Our Tsar Peter the first called this uh, Russian cathedral the most beautiful cathedral in the world. Can you just imagine? And a bell tower. This is the best uh, place for uh, Russian operas here, you know, it's like a stage for singers and dancers and this square is like a hall. I think it's great. Now I have a dream to visit this uh, opera here. I think it's really fantastic. Morocco style bell tower. It's included in 20 tallest uh, bell towers in the world. 80 meters, 80 meters of height. Amazing, really. Just a masterpiece. What are the main conditions uh, for, for a city to become a wealthy city? First of all, exclusive product. And here in Astrakhan, we have a lot of sturgeon and black caviar and to be located on the crossroads of trade routes. There were plenty of merchants from India, uh, Persian mer merchants and uh, Armenian merchants and so here um, I visit the Persian houses uh, like a, it's not a house it's several houses where Persian merchants with families lived and um, here we can find living apartments still people live here it was constructed in 18th century I'm really amazed my dear viewers I come back into the summer, really. I don't understand where am I. <laughs> Just have a look. Uh, I'm looking somewhere in Europe. But I'm in a wealthy, ancient Astrakhan. A croissant paradise. Oh, just have a look. Big, big croissants. Mm, with different feelings. Oh, my mouth is watering. I want all. I want all croissants at all. <laughs> and you see, prices are not low. My dear viewers, you know that I like to show you uh, our small stores uh, near the road. This is watermelon and melon region and uh, tomato region and uh, let's see what's price for a um, bucket of tomato uh, 100 rubles only and uh, um, one uh, kilo of uh, fresh 
Ah, fresh watermelon just from the field uh, costs 25 rubles uh, per one kilo. And melons, uh, price for melons is uh, 50 rubles per kilo. I like these moments <laughs> to buy something special uh, on the road and eat it in the evening together. It's great. My dear friends, um, we are still traveling around our great, enormous country, Russia, and this is very special region. Just have a look. In Russian, it, so it sounds like steppe. In English, it's something like plain. No trees, uh, no fresh water. And what I'm going to show you. Wait a moment. Um, about 15. Uh, or more years ago, one farmer with family uh, decided to build a farm here in this plain, in this steppe, and it was Russian bathhouse. And um, there were a great deal of uh, pets, uh, cows and sheep, and um, And uh, they lived a very good life, I hope so, in this wonderful house. But after a few years, the water in a river became salty. And I have a question for you. How can anybody live without fresh water? And this farmer with his family had to leave this paradise. Of course, no fresh water, no life at all. I think he was very, very upset because um, it, was, it was a very hard work to build a house and um, to make a farm here in this isolated region in this uh, hot climate without uh, trees without forests at all but they were happy um, I'm sure and I want to show you something interesting have a look at this wonderful house for uh, for pets for uh, farms pet for cows and for sheep um, It looks uh, abandoned uh, now. How was he surprised uh, when he identified salty water in his well? Uh, just have a look. The smell is still here. Oh my God. It was great. I hope so. Course, it's a pity that there are th there is no fresh water at all here and only these skulls of sheep remind us about the former abundance of this abandoned farm having ridden just uh, 60 kilometers from big city Astrakhan uh, we reached a real desert, desert, and have a look, we're going to meet uh, the sunset in the desert today. And we have a barbecue today here on the sunset together with our um, guests, you see, foxes. They like to eat watermelon and tomatoes <gasps> and she's pregnant. Have a look. I'm waiting for small, small foxes. I know that I can't touch you. I know that you're a wild animal. You're very, very pretty. Yes, we'll give you watermelon, dear. Oh, have a look. It's a, a, a real wilderness. It's to my liking. 
amazing nature. I feel like I'm somewhere in United Arab Emirates. <laughs> so soft sand. Oh, my favorite moments. You know, my dear viewers, I love sunrises and sunsets, and especially in a very exotic, uh, not ordinary places. My dear viewers, write down in comments, please, what is your opinion when uh, this situation between our countries uh, will be finished? Uh, because I want to invite you to visit Russia again and again, because there are, it's not, one life is not enough to visit all parts of Russia. And every day I open something new and beautiful and interesting and pictures gripping and I invite you to join me. And please write down in comments what places in Russia would you like to watch. Um, maybe um, you have a dream to travel somewhere or if it's not possible now I can film some places for you because I'm a traveler and I, I like it with all my heart. Oh, this sunset in the desert. Tranquility and warm wind. And the sun is going to kiss the earth. It's really something miraculous. And now it's time for uh, barbecue now and what we have for typical Astrakhan barbecue, of course, watermelon, fresh, fresh watermelon and uh, a traditional tea in samovar. Let's do it together. Ah, while life is here, melons, watermelons. And, mm, and foxes. Mm, have a look at our uh, lunch. Fresh, fresh, red watermelon and mm, fresh local melon. <laughs> and carries. <clears throat> and this is, you know what, my dear viewers? So, Moldova. Russians like to eat. Astrakhan watermelons and just have a look just a moment and our foxes also adore melons and watermelons the fox is full and it's time to see sweet dreams yes <laughs> and here is the link to my best videos about where Russians like to travel. Volga River. Russians call Volga Mave River. It's very, very wide. This is an island, and you can see the whole width. Astrakhan is a great. Russian river port. It's old and modern city with a great amount of bridges across Volga River. Oh, have a look. Volga River is uh, so wide here. And the city looks amazing. One Astrakhan Square, Russian Orthodox Monastery, Armenian Cross, as a memory to all Armenians 
to all Armenian merchants living here. A monument to great composer from Kazakhstan, Urman Gazi. My dear viewers, I'm really proud of being a part of multinational, multicultural, multi-religious country um, as Russia. And Russians are very, very tolerant. See you.